Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. It's been a long time. I know a lot of people have been asking for some videos. But today I decided, you know, this is January, starting off a new year, 2017, and I'm going to push to do a video every month. Maybe two videos every month, if I can. Um, so today I got a little special, you know, treat for y'all. We're going to be doing some big old Texas style beef ribs. And of course, yeah, I'm in Texas. You look at that right there. Big old bones right there. As you can see, beef rib is basically the plate rib of a cattle. Um, got these big old bones that run across the back right here. I got these from my local HEB um, over here in Wasahatchee, Texas. Um, I live, you know, a little further than that from there, but you know, it's beside the point. Um, so I got my beef ribs here today, guys, and we're going to be smoking these jokers right here on my new Weber Summit, as you can see over here. Okay, so I got that, you know, getting up the heat, getting up the temp. You know, we're going to be bringing this up today around 275, 285, keeping it below 300, but above 275. Somewhere now, you know how smokers go, you know, they can be fluctuating. Um, being that I have, I've only had this maybe less than a year still you know lear learning all the kinks and ins and outs about it um how it heats well but i'm getting it um down pretty good so let's go back over here to the food as you can see i got beef ribs like i said i got a little bit of oak i got a little bit of pecan i got my beer roaring sons i ain't getting paid for them but i do like this raw sons blonde not open yet should be open matter of fact let's just go ahead and open it There we go. Go ahead and open it. So, what I got over here, I got a little bit of my homemade rub right here. I've made up. It's been sitting in the cabinet. You know, longer the rub sits, better it is over time. I got my spritz bottle over here. That's some um, apple cider vinegar, some apple juice, and a little bit of Texas peat hot sauce mixed up in there. I got my uh, Allegro hickory marinade that I bought from um, grocery store. You can get this at probably any grocery store. It's got a little seasons up. You can kind of see it in there. I hope you can. And also, I'm going to dust it off a little bit with a little bit of Suckle Busters. Shout out to Suckle Busters. So some Texas pecan barbecue rubs. A lot of rubs I like. I also make my own, but I like some of the other ones too. Okay, guys. So what you got here, let's just get right to it. First of all, somebody wants to say hi. It's my my big boy right here. That's Nightmare. That's my uh, Roddy. He's always standing by. Don't let him get too close. Can't leave these beast rest by himself. They'll be gone. Let's go and get to it. Like I said, what I'm going to really do is really simple. Is I'm going to take some of this Allegro marinade, what I got right here. And I'm going to put it on here. It's going to help some of this rub stick. You can do anything. You can put hot sauce on here. You can do olive oil. You can leave it bare if you want. Um, so let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and open our little marinade. Pour a little bit on there. Rub it all on there. Get it rubbed up in there. Get it on some of the other one. Rub it all up in there. All on the top. Whether this does anything or not, um, besides helping the rub stick and give a little flavor to the um, the bark when you cook it, that's just in my opinion, but some of you might feel differently, like it may not do nothing. All opinions are welcome, as of always. As um, long as you're not, you know, rude as hell, like I said. <laughs> well, I know some of you will be, but that's okay. But thanks for stopping by, like I said. All right, so I got some of that Allegro on there. Put that back over there. All right. And if anybody wonder why I'm not wearing gloves, this is, you know, basically my own house is set. If I was using poultry or something or chicken, same thing. Um, I probably would be using gloves because I want to contaminate anything else. But I'm going to try to keep one of my hands clean if I can. You know, and like I do, I always disinfect all my seasonings and my bottles and stuff uh, with some bleach wraps when I can um, after I cook. Okay, so I got that on there. So like I, like I said, take some of this rub Get it to my big salt shaker set. And, you know, this pepper and stuff, 
all the light seasonings and stuff is going to shake come to the top so you got to keep shaking it so what i like to do let's turn this over first let's get it on the back okay there's a membrane back here i'm gonna leave that on there uh reason being um it's really not gonna do nothing you know you're gonna be eating this meat off the rib itself it's gonna kind of bunch up when it's finished cooking it's gonna get that put all on there it's really put as much as you want guys you can put any kind of season you can use salt and pepper salt pepper garlic uh, any kind of rub you want it whatever you want you can put on here today i just you know chose to put some of my homemade beef brisket rub i do have a brisket going today um turn that over hit the other one the only brisket um is for i'm making some brisket chili for work you know i'm over a little potluck thing so we're um making a little chili little chili fest is what i call it not a cook off but hopefully Everybody likes to chill they did last year. Okay, so after we got that on the back, we're gonna get this all over here on the front. Well, on the top where the fat cap is, on the, on the top. Get that all on there, guys. Shake this up a little bit. I want some of that pepper to get in there. Get all this rub everywhere, guys. Get it on the side everywhere. Get it wherever you can get it. This is uh, not a real big, thick cup, cup of beef. This is not like your um, your beef back ribs, the thinner cut. The plate feels a lot of more meat. Okay, so I got that on there, guys. Set that down. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and dust this on the top with a little bit of this pecan rub. Dust that right there. Get that all on there. Let that set. Maybe I'll hit the sides a little bit. Let's hit the sides a little bit those bones where the meat is yeah right up in there okay all right so i got that on there got your rub on there everything so we're gonna come over here to the smoker and you see my my tempo pie is a little above 300 but i do have uh, my ready check right here it's going to put that on the grate so what i do like to do guys once I got that done, let's go ahead and open this. Okay. I got my charcoal in there. Take some of these wood pieces. Put it all in there. A little bit. Get it going around. What you like to do, excuse me if the camera's going over through the meat. Get some of this wood or all the way around as it cooks down. Get it all the way around so I can smoke slowly. This method I got going here, guys, you can see Nightmare looking at us. You know, I got most of my heat on this side. Excuse me. Most of my heat on this side right here, guys. I got most of my heat. The rest of this cold charcoal on the side. It's filled up a little about halfway. What's cool about this, um, this smoker right here, guys, it's got a little baffle. I'm gonna set the baffle in there. These vents, they can go up and down, open and close, set more wood in there. I do have a pan of water. Let's put that pan of water on the bottom, catch some of those drippings. Woo. Excuse me, I got some of that smoke coming out. And we're gonna grab my pan. Well, my rack, not my pan, guys, my rack. Set it on top. What I like to do now is kind of, you know, set my thermometer. Woo, gotta rub the eyes where I wanna set it. Probably right over in here. Probably set it right over here, guys. Set it right over here. Nah, maybe put it right over here. I'm trying to guard this smoke at the same time. Show y'all this. Okay, that's good enough right there. All right, and what I do have, woo, smoke is strong. I do have a 
little bowl of water I'm gonna keep off to the side probably over here away from that heat okay so let's go ahead and set this beef ribs on here go ahead and set the first one right there all right go ahead and set the second one right there boom because we got water beef ribs on temperature gauge you no know let's go ahead and move that one off here to the side move it right here off to the side guys all right everything's on there if you missed anything on the video show you all again that was all my rubs did everything over there hands a little dirty wash those up in a minute let's get this close boom get it back up to temp open it up just a little bit and we'll watch it rise stay tuned we'll come back and check on these in the meantime what we're gonna do just sit back relax have a beer Stay tuned. take a look at these beef ribs take a temperature it's been about three hours check the temperature got my trusty old thermal pop we're gonna test it right between the bones I'm 183 as you can see try to find the thickest part 164 let's look over here One sixty nine, one seventy eight. Like to hit it with some of this spray. A little windy out here. Starting to pull back. Looking very good. Stay tuned. We'll wrap them. All right, guys. I think it's time to. It's been about an hour since I last checked it. Put it on about 10 o'clock. It's about 2 o'clock right now. It's about 4 hours in. Maybe about 9.45. Give or take. Uh, but I'm going to wrap it. I got some of this I got some of this butcher paper right here I'm going to use, guys. Got another piece out here. It's real windy. So let's go ahead and I got a couple got a couple towels. Clean towels. And let's go ahead and open the smoker get these beef ribs wrapped there we go looking real good coming off the bone just want to take the temperature again kind of look at it see what's going on excuse me if I move kind of fast all right let's take this temp guys right between the bone Ooh, 200 I think they're about run ready guys about 181 there. Let's take it over here. 198, 202. That's perfect. 203. Do that again. 194, 199. There's a uh, piece of membrane that's right through here, so push it through pretty easy. Let's go and get these boys wrapped. Probably leave them on another hour and I'll rest them. Let's 
go ahead and get them before my paper blow away. Be real careful, don't want to put any juices anywhere. Hit it with a little spray. I like this paper, guys. I kind of went to it because basically it keeps my bark kind of uh, crispy a little bit like I like it. What I'm going to do, guys, found an easier way. Let's go ahead and turn this rib. Go ahead and fold the sides without trying to tear the paper. Okay. Bring this end over. Okay. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to fold it again. And boom, there it is. Fold that again. Kind of mess up on you guys. I think I'm gonna lay these down the other way. Turn those over. Mess up here and there, but as long as we correct ourselves, we'll be all right. All right, do the same thing. Wrap again. That's better. Just like that. Put them right back on the smoker. All right. Get my other piece of paper. over here lay it out put some down there to hold all right take my rags come over here and get my other one this one's a little more different it's a bone hanging out of guys this bone right here i can take that out if i wanted to but i'm gonna be careful i'm gonna leave it in fold it over the sides once again be careful not to tear the paper. Fold it back on stuff. As you see, I put the meat down first. That way I can hold the paper and can hold together. The paper can hold together and won't open up in the smoker. Close this again, guys. A little greasy paper. I'm going to leave this on to maybe about another hour, maybe. Come out and we'll put these in the cooler. And let them rest and then we'll cut them up after that stay tuned what's up boy all right guys so we're back I'm gonna take these off i think they're about at where we want to be like 198 203 200 different spots so let's go over here and let's um put it in this towel and put it in our cooler and let it rest before we um cut it open and see what it looks like here and open this. Alright, take these off. You want to, don't forget your gloves. said before stack these like this get you a clean towel make sure you do that wrap this up pretty tight tuck it on the bottom tight as you can set it down in my cooler just so you guys can see right there my cooler right there Get it closed. All right, guys, so we're back. I rested these beef ribs and they're all wrapped up, so let's see what they look like. Go ahead. I don't need none of this paper, guys. Just tear it open. Man, they look real good. You see, they're pretty tender the way they've been. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to place one on there. Go ahead and open the other one. Here. That, out over. that way I don't have a lot of room on the wrap. Let's 
stack that up. See that bone's coming out there already. As you let these rest in the um, cooler, they tend to keep cooking. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cut into one. All right? So I'll cut right between the bones. Look at that right there. Turn that around. And I want you to, I'm gonna show you this one. And look at that right there. Real tender guys. Let's go ahead and take a bite. How that look? Look at the juice in that. Y'all see that? Look at the juice in that. Real good. Alright, see how it tastes. Mmm. Man, those are real good. And there you go. Good little smoke ring right there. Coming out. If you want to. Go ahead and pair it with some potato salad. Sauce. And there you go. Beef ribs, guys. Thank you. Until next time. Subscribe.